Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? A New Orleans Saints, they beat Phil, uh, excuse me, they beat the Jets. They end the five game losing streak. They move to six and seven. Saints are currently in 11th place in the NFC, but they're, they have the same record as the Washington football team, which is in the last playoff spot. There are five teams that are six and seven right now with four to play. And the Saints are in that group. It's Washington, and this is the, the direct, the, um, um, the order based on tiebreaker. So it's Washington, which is currently in the seventh spot, followed by the Minnesota Vikings, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Atlanta Falcons, and the New Orleans Saints. That's the playoff standing in the NFC as it is right now. Um, the Cardinals, who play tonight, are at 10-2, and two, followed by the Packers, the Bucks, the Cowboys, the Rams, who play the Cardinals tonight. Niners and Washington have the final of the seventh playoff spot. Then Vikings, Eagles, Falcons, Saints. So Washington, the Vikings, the Eagles, the Falcons, and the Saints, all five teams are at six and seven on the season. So the good news for New Orleans is they're very much in it. The bad news is the schedule they still have to play relative to those teams. Here was Sean Payton after the win against the Jets on what it meant big picture moving forward. What, what I told him, you know, it's, it's a funny league. Just it keeps giving you a chance, and you just keep focusing. I know it sounds cliche with the one week at a time, but you really just turn your focus to the next game, and it's a bunch of teams that are clumped together and, and are fighting to, to make the postseason. And our, our focus will be really on ourselves improving and, and getting healthier and, and getting ready for what's going to be a you know a real good Tampa Bay team that we play uh, Sunday night. Saints are a 10.5-point dog against the Bucs. It's not realistic that they win it, but it is realistic that New Orleans could win the rest of their games. They get Miami at home, the Saints will be favored. They get Carolina at home, the Saints will be favored. And they go to Atlanta with potentially, potentially, a playoff spot on the line in Week 18. That's the good news. Is the Saints are at 6-7? and seven. They're tied with the, for the, the last spot, although they're, they're the bottom of the tiebreaker. The bad news is the remaining schedule. Of the five teams that are presently at 6-7, and seven, vying for that last wild card spot, when you look at remaining strength of schedule, the New Orleans Saints have the toughest remaining schedule of the five teams. That's the part that sucks. Uh, the Saints have the 13th most difficult remaining strength of schedule in the NFL. Um, according to um, Tankathon and the, the strength of schedule. So right now, the Saints remaining strength of schedule is 519. Minnesota is a spot behind them at 14, uh, 510 is the remaining strength of schedule. The Giant, excuse me, the Eagles and Washington are 20 and 21 respectively. They play each other twice remaining. The East, the NFC East, has only NFC East games remaining. So the Giants play the Cowboys, excuse me, they play the Bears, then the Eagles and Washington. The Eagles play the Cowboys, the Giants, and two games against Washington. So the, the Eagles have only, excuse me, um, the Eagles and Washington have only division games remaining. The Giants, who are out of it, play the Bears. Forgive me. So Eagles, Washington, only division games remaining. Atlanta has the 28th remaining strength of schedule. Um, so by win percentage, it's very favorable. But when you look at the games Atlanta has to play, it's actually kind of tough. Atlanta's got to play the Bills. The Niners, the Lions, and the Saints. So it's the game against Detroit that really skews that. The same in reverse, which skews the Saints' strength of schedule because they play Tampa. Because as we know, the Saints' remaining strength you know, schedule with the Dolphins, the Panthers, and the Falcons is not very difficult, but they got the game against Tampa lingering and looming where they're a double-digit underdog. So when I look at it, like it's realistic that Philly and Washington, because they play each other twice, 
Philly and Washington could beat each other and bring each other back. Like Philly and Washington could eliminate each other for all intents and purposes. The Saint the Saints get to play the Falcons. So if the Saints beat Atlanta and Atlanta slips somewhere else, the Saints control their own destiny against Atlanta, which really means you're staring at Minnesota. Minnesota is the team that you're staring at. They get Green Bay, the Rams, and then the Bears twice. Minnesota is probably the one that we're going to have to look at if you're thinking of it if you're looking at it through a Saints lens that you're going to go, that's probably the team that's the biggest problem. But on paper, in my opinion, like what looks like the most difficult schedule. Although the winning percentage doesn't stack up, Green Bay and the Rams are both really difficult games for Minnesota. They do get the Bears twice. And division games are tough, as we saw last night with Green Bay and, and Chicago. So, Sean Payton's right. It's a funny league, and it it keeps giving you opportunities. And the Saints have that opportunity. But I'm going to keep looking back at the thing that we said when the Saints lost to the Giants and when they lost to the Falcons. Whatever this team is at the end of the year, we're going to look back and say, that's why. Because you blew an 11-point lead with at home with eight minutes to go against a bad Giants team. If you win that game, all else equal, five-game losing streak, injuries and all, if you hang on against the Giants, you're seven and six and you're in the playoffs right now. You didn't. If you don't blow the coverage late against Atlanta, you're eight and five and you're still very much in the mix for the division. But you didn't. So they are where they are. Look, I can stomach all the other losses. Injuries being what they are, difficult situations, tough to win, tough to win on the road, all the injuries. But those two against bad teams at home, when you had the game won and you blew it, those are the two. Those are the two that are going to stand out and say, if this team misses the playoffs, we're going to look back and say it's because of those two games. If this team makes the playoffs and comes up just short of the division, we're going to look back and say, those two games. But improbably, I still got a shot. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.